Well, hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So I went away for the ranch for about four days doing some other work. My back doing inventory. The boys got double oats. I'm looking at them both. They're looking pretty. Of course, they've got the stock tanks to draw from. So 50,000 gallons of water or more. Plenty of water for them. He's looking really good. It was 109. Old Hank here, how you holding up, buddy? Now this horse here is over 30, 34 years old, so taking good care of him as best I can. He got uh, double and a half oats. Not looking too bad. I see a little bit of ribs there. I'll take care of those. So they got 30 acres of grass to graze from everybody. So and I like to graze horses, I do. I prefer it over uh, food, but when they get beyond 30, fattening up a horse is a lot of hard work. Let's see how the chickens did. All right. Looky there. One, two, three, four, five. An egg and a half a day. Well, that's not bad, old Hank. I got an egg and a half a day out of the chickens. Well, while I was gone, I, of course, do uh, farm salvage is what I do. Antique stores, but really farm salvage is what I'm after. So I, I needed another manure uh, pitchfork. I've got one up at the gate, and then I wanted another one. $28. Brand new, if you ask me. Brand new. Listen, I'll put some oil on all of these. I need to oil all my wood tools, and they'll look plenty fine. I won't worry about that rust. Well, I might spray paint it black. We don't know. Uh, this is, uh, I'm going to hold off on that. So I got myself a grenade here. Complaint department taken number. I think that's a hoop. But I guarantee you if bad times come and I'm wearing my fatigues carrying an assault rifle, a 45 caliber pistol with one of them hand grenades hanging off of me, ain't nobody going to bother me none. They, don't, they won't even know that's not a real, real grenade because by that time there won't be no internet to look it up. But you all know my secret. You ever see me wandering around with a... A grenade, you'll know that I picked up a gag grenade. It's heavy. Uh, I think that it was a training grenade. It's heavy. So, yeah, everybody. Oh, that's funny. No, nah, no, nah, I've got plans for that. That's going in my bug out box. All right, so the boogie board. I am beyond boogie boarding. I'm not ever going to boogie board again. But this is obviously uh, um, water treated. Uh, and I think it's cool. I really do. I think it's cool as heck. Uh, I think in a water-treated uh, laminate, I'm going to use it for my chicken coop in there for my watering pan for my chickens. So I'm going to bolt my watering pan on there, put that on blocks so it's up off. Because uh, anybody who's got chickens, they know they kick dirt in it. Chickens are messy creatures, y'all. They're not these little cre uh, clean things. When they get in the dust, they like to dust their feathers up and kick a bunch up. And then uh, dirt gets in their water. And, and uh, yeah, they really need clean water. Chickens need clean water. So getting it up there and then hooking up the uh, water trough that I have, which is stainless steel. I'm happy with that boogie board. Uh, $7 on the boogie board. Let me see here. How much for the fake grenade? $5.50. Well, you can't go wrong with a $5. I'm not pulling that pin. Maybe it ain't fake. Who knows? <laughs> my luck. <laughs> my luck. But uh, I know that that's a good deal, 28 on that pitchfork. So I got a couple of stained glass windows. They wanted them uh, $20 a piece, and I bundled them, and I ended up getting them for about, I don't know, 15 bucks. These aren't cracks in there. These are like uh, little striations, uh, hairs, hairline. I don't think they're antique at all, uh, but they're mighty pretty. Got that Modrain vibe. I really like that Modrain vibe. So, uh, you know, I'll use them in the shipping container. As you all know, I, in there I've got plenty of stained glass as it is. So uh, these will come in handy, and they're already framed for me. I don't got to do anything. They're loose in the frame, rattle, 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 so I'd have to caulk them about, but that's no problem. All right, back to chickens. These are stainless steel. I thought they might be aluminum. Stainless steel, $5.50 a pan. I believe they would make a great nesting box. That's what I think they would make a great nesting box. Throw some straw in there. So back to the chickens. All righty, listen, everybody. I, I do two things when I'm out and about doing uh, ranch salvage. I buy things I could use at the ranch, 
And I also buy things that I've only seen one of or a few of uh, at a good deal. So I, I recently bought uh, two spools of barbed wire for less than 75 bucks when you add them up. And they're normally 100 between 130 and 200 dollars depending on the kind of barbed wire so uh, all kinds of good things can be found let me rotate keep going through my treasures here so i've wanted one of these for a while this is a camel saddle mock-up with a uh, leather cushion uh, you know and it's it's got a patina on it this thing's going to be from the 1950s it was originally that that shade of red it's faded out it's, uh, if you look at it, uh, there's the maker's mark, Daro, made in Spain, and, and that's why I bought it. Um, I'm doing a Spanish mission vibe out here, right? This will be an Adobe-style home. So, uh, you know, the Moroccan Spanish vibe, that will work in my home real well. It is a footstool, and uh, I needed a footstool, so I've got that. So, uh, I was at an antique mall, and we saw one of these for $225 or thereabouts, 200, over 200 and I've been looking for one of these for a while. And we went around to another booth and they had this one in near perfect condition for $85. And uh, the only only thing is this bar right here, this brass rod has uh, lost the fennel on it. Well, I'll, I'll just JB weld that and stick it back in, and call it a day or get a new brass rod. Really, uh, really an interesting piece. Uh, you saw the maker's mark on there. That's as much as I know about it. But I know Ottoman, you can't get junk Ottomans for 85 bucks. I went to Ikea and just tried to get a crap, a crap Ottoman. It would be $90 for a crap Ottoman. There I got a piece of 1950s, uh, you know, mid-century uh, mod. But for somebody who's doing a hyper Adobe house, that would be really cool. Rotate. All righty, $5 for a bin. You know these things are running 12 to 15 for that size bin and clear. $5. I see them at Goodwill and they're clear. I buy them, especially like this one had all the latches. Go to, go to, go to Goodwill first when you look for those. You, they're not always filled with cat and dirt and roaches. Sometimes you get one like that that's brand new. Well, looky here. This, this guy I took out of pity. I, I just stole him. No person who owned it didn't have a choice. I said, look at you, abuse. That's a battered spider plant. I said, listen, I can't let you parent that spider plant. I got to take it now. And uh, the person was feeling mighty mighty bad about themselves and that poor old bad, battered spider plant. So my mission here will be to get that poor old spider plant fixed up for free. I might give it back, but I doubt it. If I save it, I, I'll probably keep it. <laughs> we'll see. Poor old battered spider plant just sad but i've got myself a sage actually i got two of them they go in front of your gate old timers they used to have a mist that the uh uh the sage plant purple sage texas sage would uh keep uh evil spirits away if you put them in front of your door so a lot of old farms have sage but the reality is is they only bloom when it's gonna rain and uh so i see he's budding out so he's telling me there's rain on the way this weekend so, I, but I'll get these by the gates. And uh, for me, being able to, I, I got rid of my weather apps. I don't have weather apps on my phone anymore. I just live by what the sun above is doing, which is 109 today. 109. I'm melting out here, people. Melting. So, but uh, that'll that'll tell me when weather's on the way. Olive tree. I've wanted an olive tree for a long time. They can hardly stand the cold down here, y'all. But this one says that he goes all the way down to 10, 10 degrees Fahrenheit and will survive it, that breed. And I have seen zero uh, Fahrenheit uh, once here uh, in the many years I've been. So if I tuck him away somewhere, maybe I can keep this, maybe I can keep this olive tree. We shall see. And then uh, Barbados, which all got burned up in the big, big chill a couple of years ago. So I'm glad to have a little Barbados start and... Uh, those make uh, real beautiful plants. Look it up. Pride of Barbados. All right. So now back to the the prize treasure, y'all. I found these wrought iron fence uh, six foot sections. Oh, three and a half foot high. And uh, looked them up online, and they uh, they are honestly going for up to two hundred seventy five dollars a panel in a similar design as these these aren't real old you can see the wrought iron on there it's not real old but i want to keep my cattle in their paddock so uh i asked him if he would take the same price as tractor supply for a new panel 
and by gum he did which is about 38 bucks a piece so and i got six of them y'all anybody that knows about uh an antique wrought iron knows you cannot get a six foot panel of wrought iron for the price of a new panel 38 dollars and appreciate the fella that was uh i heard him yeah, I saw him go, what? What? I, he said, well, what would you offer me? And I said, I will insult you with what I'll offer you. And I told him, I put everything to work. So it's it's got to match whatever the current price is. And that happened to be $38 for a little hog, hog fence like that. And uh, mean of me. It was mean of me. But uh, he liked me enough. Uh, I bought from him often enough that uh, he, he looked the other way and went, all right, just to get him out. They are heavy. They are heavy, so it's not like people are coming in every day, uh, snagging these up and hauling them off. I, I only pulled out one, and I have six more in there. So 20, 24, 30 foot worth of wrought iron fence for $38 a section. So I don't know what that is, uh, three, three, four hundred dollars for the price of one panel. Uh, normally the panels and 275 is a good price even, but for the price of a uh, one panel, I got six, so more or less. So. Uh, that and I'll tell you I am very pleased with this it's not real fancy it's just welded wire it's just got conventional but these are not plastic people these are genuine wrought iron a couple of them come loose I will JB weld those in is what I will do and if there's any missing I'll press them into a form and make some out of aluminum with boiled aluminum cans if I need to but uh, there we go all right, and while I was gone, all my material for my pipe fence came in. So I'm going to be doing my pipe fence, getting that around so that uh, I can keep the cattle out of here and uh, into the pasture. And uh, pretty happy. My uh, chickens are happy. Everything's happy uh, out here. And I'm glad to be back on the farm. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Follow me along.